it might not have been like the the grandest uh, ending out there or like you know something that will really blow your mind but i think it's the right ending it's the appropriate ending for this very awesome series <laughs> What's up YouTube, this is your boy G back in another video. All right, today we're just gonna talk quickly about Money Heist, right? So the final or the fi season finale of Money Heist, uh, basically the last half of their season five. So let's talk about that real quick. Um, no spoilers still, right? This is just a review. So if you haven't watched it yet, it's, it's safe. Just go ahead and listen or watch this review, but let's talk about it. No spoilers. Let me talk about story first. Everybody knows Money Heist already, right? By, by, by now, because Money Heist is so popular, like Squid Game last time. For this story, of course, we all know the story of Money Heist. It's still good. Of course, the very first season will always be the best because the surprise factor is still there, right? Like, you know, it's like blowing your mind. Most of other series are basically dead, you know, by, by this season, season five. Money Heist is still holding very well. Their premise is still pretty good, pretty good. Now, there are some slow parts, all right, um, that is kind of understandable trying to stretch things, but it's still, it's still good, right? It's not that bad. Now, one thing that I will um, say, though, is I think um, on the first half of the season five, uh, Tokyo's death, right? I think Tokyo's death is not necessary. Uh, if there's like a nitpick, right, that I can do right now that I can like um, say um, to make the ending perfect for my own taste, I think I would love to see, I would have loved to see um, Tokyo survive as well. I mean, you know, it is what it is. I think it's it's to drive some other um, story as well, of course, like Nairobi and such. I think Nairobi's death is a very, very good, you know, back in the day. But Tokyo's dead, I think it's it could have probably uh, done better or done differently, like makes Tokyo survive, injured or whatnot. After Tokyo uh, died, I think they didn't really emphasize on Rio's um, personality anyway, right? There's no, there's less re arc or story for Rio here. Um, season five finale or season five um, series finale is basically talking about Professor. It's it's more Professor as a matter of fact. So I, I love it. I love it because the entire series is basically like emphasizing the heist actually right inside the the bank or the reserve this time it's more of professor you know a constant backtrack or what you call that flashbacks right to talk about um berlin and 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 their um you know brother relationship with professor with berlin's wife and kid and all of that but it's more of a professor so you will feel that you have this kind of connection with Professor, and I love it because Money Heist is one of those series, one of those shows that are that is really good in building character. That is one attribute, right? That other series um, can actually copy. You know how good, how well Money Heist builds character. You know by watching this series, you basically love them all. You know, you're not going to forget one character over another. You're going to know their name. And it's even very good, very wise, right? Very genius of the writer or whoever created this to actually name them um, cities, right? Because you will actually remember them more, like Tokyo, Nairobi, right? Because otherwise, if their name is just normal names, you might forget it, right? Because people aren't good in names. You know, some people aren't uh, doing good in remembering names, even though we remember the face, not the names, right? But by by making them the popular city, you will always remember them, right? Manila is uh, very exotic, very sexy. So the the only gripe that I have, if I again, I'll probably um give some you know, nitpick or gripe is. Uh, questions as well. I got a lot of questions, you know, by the end of the day, like they're talking about or they're showing some some arc and some stories around uh, Berlin's wife or ex-wife that is and the son, right? So it, it's good, right? I mean, the flashback is good. You can understand what's happening here. But um, here on the actual plot, you will you will wonder um, what happened like why is all of a sudden Berlin's um, ex-wife and son is here? And uh, what are they doing? So I think it's probably going to be shown on the news or on the Berlin spin-off that are just, you know, being um, rumored about. So if Berlin will have a spin-off, maybe it will be um, said better there. 
but here it just left some of an answered question and i think i would like to know more about that but nonetheless the money heist itself the core heist the core story is top notch and money heist gets a 10 out of 10 from me i believe i, I provided this uh the first um, time that i reviewed it around 9 or 9.5 but I just love the ending. I, I, I love how genius it is because I'm kind of skeptical at first. How will they pull it up, right? Because it's going to be a little bit controversial, you know, I'm going to tell you. So, for example, if they did the ending a certain way, um, a lot of other people, government and stuff out there, especially nowadays, 2021, everything is like offensive, right? Everyone is offended. So, it, you know, it could have been controversial. Like, why did you do that? Why is that your opinion? Why is that your view? Why did you execute it that way? So, I'm actually kind of skeptical and kind of like I'm keen to see that at first. But when they pulled it up, I think they pulled it up right, right? I think this is the... This is the finale that the season is deserving. So this is the best ending that will suit them. It might not have been like the, the grandest uh, ending out there or like, you know, something that will really blow your mind. But I think it's the right ending. It's the appropriate ending for this very awesome series. So again, Money Heist gets a 10 out of 10 from me. If you haven't watched it yet, what are you doing? Just go ahead and pop up your Netflix and check Money Heist because it's awesome. It's it's a show that you should never miss. That's all for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Click the like button if you like this video. Uh, comment down below if you have any thoughts or or, or, or um, suggestion, I think, on the channel or thoughts for the for the Money Heist. Have you watched it? You know, do you think it's good or do you think it's bad? Just go ahead and comment down below. Let's talk about it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet to the channel. As you can see, I create you know Netflix reviews and do some other videos. So it will really help the channel grow if you subscribe. So thank you so much in advance for that. But again, that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, guys, and see you on the next one. Peace.